Look at Luke chapter 10 again, if you would. Hopefully you kept something there. Luke chapter 10, look at verse 1. After these things, the Lord appointed unto others seventy also, and sent them two and two before His face into every city and place, whither He Himself would come. And isn't that a beautiful picture of what we do? God sends us out, and we go out, and we preach the gospel to these people. And then He Himself comes and through the power of the Holy Spirit, through the power of the preaching of God's Word, He comes and indwells them. Just as Jesus came behind His disciples, He comes behind us today and resides in the hearts of those that believe the Gospel that we preach. Amen. That's the importance and the seriousness of soul winning. We're literally preparing the way for Christ to come to these people and, 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 and abide in them. It says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, to wit that God was Christ, uh, that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto Himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. God has committed unto us, me and you, the people in this church, the word of reconciliation. It's our job to go out and reconcile Tucson, Arizona, to God. That's what has been committed unto us. That's a big task. It's a serious task. Soul winning isn't just a hobby. It isn't just something that we do to feel good about ourselves. It's something that God has committed unto us. It's an important task. It's serious. It goes on and said, Now that we are ambassadors for Christ. I mean, think about an ambassador for the, to the UN, somebody that we would send in there. You think that's a, you know, you just pick up any old guy off the street and just, hey, you're going to be the ambassador. I mean, you have to have some serious, you know, uh, letters behind your name, probably. You probably have to have some serious education. Be a real professional know how to handle yourself. You have a very important job representing the most powerful nation on earth. You know, we're, we're going out and we are representing the most powerful kingdom in the world, in the universe. We're representing the King of Kings. We're His ambassador. So that's how important it is that we're doing what we're doing. We are ambassadors for Christ as though God did beseech you by us. You know, when you're out there and you're opening up the Bible and you're going through your presentation, it's not just you just, you know, going through some motions. At least it shouldn't be. What that is, is God beseeching that person at the door by you. God is using you to, to beg that person, to beseech that person to be saved. Amen. And that ought to be our heart when we, when we go to that door. Not just, let's get it over with, let's get our hour in so I can get back to what I'm doing. Understand, when you're going out soul winning, God is beseeching the lost through you through the preaching of His Word. Amen. goes on and says, We pray you in Christ's stead be reconciled to God. Jesus Christ isn't going to come down here and preach the gospel to the world. We're going to do it in His stead. We pray you in Christ's stead. You know, He's already done all the hard work. He's the one that came down here, lived a perfect and sinless life, was tempted in all points like as we are, yet without sin. He is the one that when he was tortured and crucified and rose again, he's already done all that work. And what's he asked us to do? Just go tell them about it. Just go tell them what I have done. And we and we get all timid because someone's gonna some atheist is gonna get mad at us. Ooh. So scary. I'm more afraid of God disapproving me when I stand before him. Why didn't you go and reconcile? Why didn't you go in my stead and beseech them as I appointed you to do? I'm more afraid of that than what some, some God hater is going to say to me at the door. Get out of here. See ya. I love it when they get mad right away and blow their top and tell me to leave. Because I don't want to waste my time. Because I tell you what, uh, there's somebody out there. There's somebody out there today that if someone would just bring them the gospel and preach it to them effectively and efficiently and thoroughly, they would believe. God would beseech them on, through us if we would just go. You see, we are gone before Him today. We are gone before the Savior today. We are gone before Christ. We've been appointed. We've been sent. And we are gone before Him. And we are to trying to bring them, Him to them and have them meet here through His Word. But I'm telling you something. The seriousness of souling is that one day they will come before Him. One day they will stand before Him. You would turn over to Revelation chapter 20.
The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 9, It is appointed unto men once to die, and after this the judgment. It is appointed unto men once to die, and after this the judgment. If they don't meet Christ here through us, they will meet Him one day in judgment. <coughs> Revelation chapter 20, the Bible says, and the devil, verse 10, And the devil that deceived them was cast in the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. My friend, the gospel, the preaching of it is important because one day they will all stand before God. Let's bring, let's have them meet now. Amen. Let's go and introduce them to the Savior today so they don't have to meet them then. Let's go ahead and pray.